Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And even though I'm not a color guy, I'm pretty proud of that, uh, how it came out. I just, I brought in an apple off the internet, just a, probably not even the best one I could find. But if you stay tuned to the other videos, we're going to use the mesh fill tool. And you can see there's not very many lines, but you can up the lines to how many quadrants you want up here in your area. And you could probably change them to freehand and rectangle. And then I took the color eyedropper tool from your document eyedropper. And I just took a sample of different parts of the apple. And it added it to my document. Then what I can do, I'm not going to put it on that corner. I'm going to put it on this corner. I'm going to select those nodes. And I'm going to put that color in there. And you see it. It made it a little bit darker up in there. You can barely see it. We'll do another one. So get the mesh fill tool and maybe select just these nodes. And we're going to put a pretty dark one that I took off the apple. I mean, look at that. Kind of gives you a shadow. Grab this one. Maybe not quite as dark. And while you're on there, you can keep playing with it. And the only problem I saw is you can't use the interactive fill tool when you're doing this. But you can grab that and just grab a white and look what it did. And then you could play around with this light tint and, and actually make it better than the uh, interactive fill tool was doing earlier. Maybe not perfect, but pretty cool. And then you could do the same thing on the leaf with the uh, mesh fill tool. I don't use it very much, but we're going to make that one maybe a darker green in the middle. And look at that. Maybe take this one and make it really dark. Give it a little more detail. I like them. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.